Hey, this video has been long overdue, and it's time to get this video done. So, today we're going to be going over intro to mail railroading uh, freight cars. So, let's get into it. Let's, first of all, get these cars on the workspace right now. All right, first up, I have categories, categories, uh, <laughs> all right, our first batch of cars. You can probably find these for $20, $15, you see, if you want to go really cheap, which would be this guy right here. Plas uh, plastic wheels, so uh, that actually drives down the price. Less detail also drives down the price, and it's mostly molded on, milled on, whatever it's called. So that's probably fifteen dollars. Most expensive one probably here is this guy, which is a twenty-two inch in real life, or not, not in real life. About I believe they uh, describe this as a a, a small hopper. Like you can see these on usually hopper co uh, hopper trains that are smaller. Uh, but again, the print on this is very nice. I believe this is an Afrin. You can see the small print, the weight, the limit. Very nice. And it's the same thing on the other side. And you can see the inside. Kind of tough. There you go. Uh, you probably pick these up for $22 at trains. Dot com. That's trains with a Z, I believe. Uh, for probably 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Not, not that expensive. You could probably pick up five of these for 100 which is pretty nice. Uh, we will be going over like bundles later, so stick around for that. Next up, we have this box car. Uh, this is a typical box car that you could find for $20 at your train store. Uh, made by any company, Bachman, I believe, who makes these. <clears throat> Uh, it's got metal wheels, so does this one. So be expecting some uh, metal wheels as we move on that drive up the price along with more detail. Uh, this is just a Union Pacific box car. It's a very nice car, but yeah, typical box car you can find anywhere. Twenty, twenty dollars. All right, we're back. We went over this one. Okay, we went over this one. And we're gonna go. Uh, we went over that. Last one, this is a Amazon, believe it or not. This is a Bachman uh, proper gondola car, CSX. It's my only CSX car I actually have, I believe. Uh, but I bought this off Amazon for $20, like $5 shipping. It does not work the price. I mean, this one had a couple of issues in the, uh, in the summer. It, granted, it is two years old now, I believe. But you can put anything in it, I guess. That kind of bumps up the price it's got a good a good price but i definitely target this for 15 dollars or cheaper you can definitely get a better price for this uh as you can see it's kind of hard to change the coupler on this because the wheels are covering it but anyways let's move on to the next category which will be um probably any freight car from 25 dollars to 30 dollars so let's go over these two Alright, next up we have these two. We got oh shoot. <laughs> we got an oil tanker and a <clears throat> coal hopper. Uh we got Wisconsin Electric and we have a Minnesota one, I believe. Yeah, MCP. So uh you can find these for twenty-five dollars to forty dollars, I wanna say. I bought this one in a 30 pack, so if you do that math, that's around or I bought it for seventy-five dollars. So that's just over twenty-five dollars per car. So Right around that range is the cheapest you could buy these things individually. I bought this one also on a three pack for $90. So these are for 30 bucks. So right around the $25 range or $40 range, I got the lower end, but they're still pretty, pretty, pretty quality cars. Again, you can see the lettering. I like these because of Wisconsin. I'm trying to get that theme going around on this layout. Uh, Next up, we got this oil tanker, which has been around for uh, God knows who long, uh, how long, and it still runs like a champ. And this is pretty cool. If this focuses, here, I'm going to put this on the side, but if I zoom in here, you can actually see the little letters. It's pretty cool. So it, it is readable, which is nice. Uh, the details on it is so nice. It's so fragile. I mean, the amount of times I've almost broke these uh, these small detail parts off when I try to slide cars next to each other is unbelievable. I have to be so careful with these. Uh, 
I believe this cool load is removable. So you can see the screw there, the screw, if you can see it in there, and the screw there. So I believe this is removable along with this one. So I might try it. I don't know. I don't want to dismantle it. I don't know what I'm doing if I what did want to do that. But anyways, you can find these from $30 a piece to $25 a piece, which is not a bad deal, honestly, for what you're getting. I would recommend buy these in a pack. Um, where are we going? Check over here. Yeah, I bought a three pack of both. So, pretty nice price for individually. But I do recommend buying these in packs along with a box, along with a hopper and a box car. Uh, just better deal. Uh, let's move on to the upper tier, I guess, or higher priced cars. Alright, now we get the last category, which are very detailed or uh, detailed parts, which I do recommend you buy in a bundle. Uh, I bought a five pack of these. Now, this could individually go in that group, but I bought a five pack of these Santa Fe Hoppers, and I just love the paint scheme on them. It was either that or Colorado. I'm like, all right, well, we don't see any Colorado hoppers going through here. So, Santa Fe, pretty nice. And I believe if you zoom in, you, kinda, you can kind of read them. Uh, same thing on the other side, I believe. Yep. Uh, five pack for $125. So, it's just over uh, five bucks. So that's $25 a piece. So, up there. This... Was third, uh, only about one of these. Uh, I wish I bought them in the pack, but that would be what $150, which would it's up there. But the detail on this is very nice, it's a very heavy car. Uh, uh five, there is a five pack of these in my train story for $150, which is up there. I bought this for $30, $35. Um, both of these very nice cars. Very, very nice cars. And this is typically what you'd see going through uh, your model railroad rubber layouts. And you can see these going through, you know, if you look outside or your uh, local train tracks, you might see these you want to buy. So, that was just, so uh, this was just a kind of a rundown of what freight cars you might be interested in. You want hoppers, you want intramural cars, you want tanker cars. Like these guys, do you want closed hoppers? Do you want cheap cars? Do you want box cars? Do you want a different kind of hopper? You know, this just gives you an option. So, this is part two of Model Railroading 101 for beginners. Uh, you can find these at, again, I can't stress this enough, at your Model Railroading store or hobby store. You can find these for cheaper prices. Online, usually it's a little bit inflated. Uh, uh, and it trends, uh, uh, what's it called? Trans store or not trans stores? Um, shoot, what's the word? Um, shoot, I can't think of it. But anyways, you can find these in your local area. Uh, but anyways, that's the video. No, oh, one more thing. Uh, these right here. These are little cars right here. They have a bunch of. These are their ads. Uh, but these, if you can find them for like ten dollars, eight dollars, um, then I recommend you get them. You get these cars if you have older engines. I could pull these. Honestly, they're not detail. You know, even compared to these, they're not even that detail. But if you find them for cheap, you should probably look into buying them if you want. Oh, yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next video will probably be a short video. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works. But anyways, I know this video is long overdue. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, share this with people. Uh, share this with fans or friends or family. You never know who may like these videos. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.